everyone welcome back to the canadian gardener uh check the last bunch of my videos you'll see what's going on and take a look at the growth of where everything is at now starting here at this end usually i start over there or over there but we're gonna start right here winter garlic check this out look at the amount of winter garlic we have all the way across it is scorching outside it's 33 feels like 39 so i'm only going to be out here for a couple moments strawberry is really suffering in this heat i uh, really need to get some water down got a few good batches out of them but not a lot this year potatoes let's jump right in there we go check it out look at the size of these things can really flowering we got some flowers going on Check it out. I'm going to zip across here real quickly. Mosquitoes are out. They're biting me already. Because they're hiding here in the garden. That's for sure. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll flip the camera up a little bit. We'll show you the height of these plants. There we go. Now you can get a good sense of how tall they are. I'm going to... We ha we've had some serious rains here. So I will be getting in here in the next, well, maybe tonight, depending on how much it cools off, we'll see. Just to hill things up again, really clean up the rows and everything like that. Uh, onions, fantastic. Check this out. Onions looking really good this year. Cucumbers. Check out the growth of the cucumbers. But we did have, or we didn't have, we had seeds here here and back there uh, but we did have uh, some grubs in the ground chewing on some uh, some roots and some plants obviously and found a few of those so uh, zucchini look at this they will fill this whole area right here all the way from this walking path of course right across to the my little chain link fence and no, not chain link uh, chicken wire fence so this will take over this area quite nicely carrots um so far so good but a few spots nothing's coming up pretty sure i put down a bunch of uh seed there oh look at this let's just get rid of this guy right here there we go get the whole root out when you're pulling weeds get the whole root uh let's just take a look at the moisture down below everybody's looking and you're going well wow. Look at the look at the cracking on the ground, yeah? There, that's soaking wet. It's an inch, inch and a half down. Nothing. Just needs a little bit of hilling. Had to put up a second fence here. Keep the rabbits out. They got in and they ate. There was a plant there. And there was a plant right in here and one right in there. And he got into it or she got into it really good. Check this out. They are attaching themselves to this fence and that's okay right across and we're grabbing this one here right now too so and that one the owl's not doing his job let's walk on over how about some dill everybody likes dill i'm not going to pull this one uh, but you can still see there's some in the <laughs> in my strawberry patch Let's get rid of this weed while we're right here. And check this out. These beans were planted obvious were planted up about a week and a half after those ones. Look at the height of these ones already now. Look at this. See how they just wrap themselves up the pole and they will grow. Check, check it out. They will grow to I'm about five foot seven and a half with my shoes on they will grow to at least this height if not taller they're gonna grow minimum four feet straight up just jam a stake in the ground let them go that's what they do see the mosquitoes look at them there he is there he goes tomatoes these two are okay look at this one something's got to it thinking grubs again under underground unfortunately under the soil getting them same with our peppers something got to that one there was two there they're gone this one's looking okay though but that one look at it i don't know if it's just from the heat but we'll water it up uh, again tonight oops kicking sticks over 
uh, beets. You can see something was walking in here. Check out the size of that paw print. Husky dog. Potatoes, potatoes in the barrel. I got potatoes in the barrel. Look at that. This is only two seeds in here, by the way. If you've got limited space, get yourself a barrel. Get yourself a couple of potato seeds. That's all you gotta do. Stick them in a barrel. This is it. This is gonna give me probably 10 pounds of potatoes. Sure, why not? Couple of seeds. This one, a little bit longer, a little bit more seeds, five seeds total. Five, let's get out of the sun. I am sweating already. Five seeds in this one. Look at the growth of this. We got, we got flour. There we go, you can see them. They're flowering, that means that they're getting ready. They're starting to grow below. Harvest time, not for a very long time. You don't harvest these until the plant is basically drying right out, then go down below. Advantage of this, no weeding, very little weeding, and uh, you don't have to hill these. Just let them grow. Watering, pour a bunch of water in. If it's over water, it goes at the bottom. So simple, you can do this. That's it, you got questions, you got comments, subscribe, like, and hit the little bell thingy. And I'll point to the bottom of the screen and I'll be like, oh, subscribe there. Yeah, I don't have an editing thing. Oh, there's a little bell over there. Hit that. I don't have one of those either. So just do it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Comments. Always, always, always. Comment, comment, comment. I will answer every single one. People from around the world always watching. So that's it. Cheers. GoPro. You know what to do. Stop recording.